Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be the kickoff of my 10 days of Christmas. I got in a little bit late on the 12 days of Christmas, so I'm going to do my version, which is going to be the 10 days of Christmas, which means I'm going to do a video every single day up until Christmas. So this video is going to be like my favorites, my current favorites, which is a lot, like it's a mixture of a bunch of different things. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Some of the videos that I'm going to end up doing are nail polish related, like I want to do a nail polish declutter. I already have all the nail polishes together, so I plan on filming that, and I also want to film... Um, my nail polish collection so you'll have that to look forward to I'm really really excited because I've never done a nail polish collection slash storage video before and a lot of people had asked me to do it and I just never got around to it so I kind of have a bunch of things planned so be looking out for my videos every single day and I wanted to top it off with kind of like a more serious video not really serious I wanted to keep it kind of lighthearted, but I wanted to do another kind of like foster care related video so if you guys are here on my channel because of that then stay tuned for that video that will be coming out I think I'm gonna put that one out last it'll probably be like Christmas Day or you know obviously whenever I end this little series of mine but I thought it would be fun and it would challenge me and also I did reach 5k subscribers um, just the other day I think so I'm really excited about that I thought this would be a cool way to kind of celebrate that and celebrate you guys who support me I know that a lot of you are here for a lot of different reasons so I kind of wanted to make different videos each day kind of catering to the different types of people who watch my videos I have my trusty wine here with me to help me kind of get through this video I haven't filmed in a while so I'm kind of I feel a little rusty so hopefully we can get through this okay if you guys stick through this whole video with me, bless you, bless you, bless you. I know you are my ride or die people. I have a lot to kind of talk about, a lot of stuff I've kind of gathered up, and a lot of it is kind of like a variety of stuff. It's not just beauty stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I want to mention, this is so random. I don't think I've ever talked about anything like this really on my channel, but this is the International Delight One Touch Latte. So this is basically like whipped cream, like flavored whipped cream for your coffee. It's so good though. It's pretty expensive. It's like $3.50, somewhere around there, like over $3, close to $4. But I don't really like to go out and buy my coffee, especially from places like Starbucks and stuff, because it's just so expensive. So I would rather have stuff like this at home to like make my own kind of like specialty coffees. And I do like my coffee kind of sweeter sometimes. So this just adds like a nice kind of coffee house touch. I don't have to necessarily like go out and spend like three or four bucks on one drink. This will last me, you know, a couple of cups of coffee. So I think this is a really cool invention actually. Like they have a lot of different flavors and basically it's just good so you don't have to go out and like purchase you know kind of like gourmet type of coffee drinks for really expensive you can just do it at home um next up this is so random but i kind of want to mention like what i'm listening to right now if you guys can hear it um. so this is called study music and kind of sounds like game of thrones this is my favorite one right here i'll show you it's an app though it's called it's just called study music i have it like right here on the front of my phone and I don't think I could have survived this semester without <laughs> this app. So basically what it is, it gives you like a variety of like study music. So they have focus, study, read, memorize, solve, and learn. So it's basically just music to help you kind of focus. It's really like subtle. My favorite one I think is study, which I just had on. It sounds, it sounds like Game of Thrones. <laughs> and I also like, they give you an option where you can turn on like birds. You can turn on a thunderstorm. I always turn on the birds. If I turn on the thunderstorm, which has like raindrops and stuff, it makes me sleepy. So if I'm trying to study, like it puts me to sleep. But the birds kind of energize me. Isn't that nice? It just helps me study so much better having this. Like, like I said, I could not have survived this semester without this app right here. They also have like a little button for, I think it's like alpha waves or something like that. I don't know exactly what it does, but it's supposed to help you like retain information. And then you could also like turn off the music and then it's just, it's just the bird chirping or like just the thunder, whatever you want. There's like different ways to like different combinations that you could do it which I really, really, really enjoy this. Like, I use this, like, non-stop this semester. I still am really glad that I found it because sometimes I just need quiet. I need to focus. And so this just really helps me block out all the extra noise and focus on what I'm doing. I really, really love it and have enjoyed it and would recommend it to you guys. I'll try to, like, link it down below somehow if I can figure that out. But it is from the Google Play Store. Okay, so another favorite of mine were the KL polishes that I purchased. 
I purchased her lips and tips set but I also purchased some more of her nail polishes during Cyber Monday but I did want to shout this out because I have pretty much worn every single color out of this collection. I think I haven't worn like one of them which I think I didn't wear 0, .0 just yet. But I really do enjoy these colors. I did do a video about this already, which I kind of like reviewed it and stuff, but I absolutely love these colors. These were colors that I feel like I didn't really have a whole lot of in my collection, especially like these mauve pink colors and then this warm brown color I did wear on my nails. But yeah, I really, really have enjoyed these this whole month. These are colors that I feel like I just can't go wrong with at all. These are colors that I'm always thinking I want to wear. Also, what I love about her polishes is they have kind of a curved brush, which I think is so smart. Like, it's just kind of curved at the end, and I'm always thinking that when I'm painting my nails. I'm like, why aren't the brushes curved? Like, why is there such a blunt cut? Because your nail beds aren't this blunt, like, square. They're usually rounded, so why? It would make sense to have a rounded, like, curved brush. It makes it so much easier to paint your nails. It's seriously like one swipe, and then you're good to go, so... I've really been loving these kale polishes right here. They're such a joy to wear. They wear on the nails so, so well. Like these, these are the longest wearing nail polishes that I have in my collection and that's no joke. Okay, so seriously, when I paint my nails, they chip within that day. Like when I go take a shower and I wash and I like wash my hair and stuff, I come out of the shower and my nails are always chipped no matter what nail polish I wear. So I basically have to paint my nails every single day if I want like a fresh nail polish. With these, I don't have to do that. These actually stay on my nails. Like there won't be any chippage until like day two or three, which is amazing for me because I don't know what it is. I guess I'm hard on my nails or something like that, but these actually stay on my nails. So I'm really glad I bit the bullet and like decided to try them. I was really curious about these kale polishes for a long time, but it, this whole set just intrigued me. I thought it was a great way to try out a bunch of different colors from her. So I really, really have been loving this. I'm so glad that I decided to go ahead and get them. I love every single color in this collection. A lot of people think it's super boring, which I agree. It's definitely a boring collection, but I love boring nail polishes. So it's definitely something I really, really love. Again, I just think these are colors that you can't go wrong with. At least they are for me. So I will, I, I will cherish these in my collections, especially like going into the work field and stuff like I definitely could see these being great to wear like to a job. So this next favorite is another nail polish. This is the last one I think I have this month. This is Zoya's Amal and I will try and find a swatch of me wearing this but this is a matte red nail polish. It's so beautiful especially for this time of year. I had it on the other day and I was just I really love it. It has a beautiful finish to it. Like there's some shimmer in there. So it does, when it does dry matte, it does have this kind of velvety texture to it and kind of a glow still to it. It's not like a flat, weird looking matte. It's a really, really nice velvety, soft, plush color. I was gonna paint on my nails today, but I painted something else, which I'm gonna talk about in another video. But again, I'm gonna try and find a swatch, but I, I mean, you can kind of tell like in the bottle, the way it looks in the bottle is basically what you get on your nails, like this frosted, beautiful velvet glow on your nails. It's just absolutely perfect and stunning for the holiday season. So if you have this in your collection, you might wanna think about wearing it, cause it, it just was beautiful. Like it just was perfect for this time of year. It put me in the Christmas spirit, so I thought I'd mention it. I really loved it that much. So my next favorite is something I'm gonna make a video about and I'd like to get TJ in on this video with me. I think it'd be kind of something fun for us to do together, but I wanted to mention Movie Pass, which is basically like, you get to go see movies in theaters unlimited for like $10 a month. So you basically get like this credit card right here. You choose the movie you wanna go see, you check in, and then you check in at whatever movie theater you want to see the movie at, and they swipe your card and you get in. And you could do that, you could see one movie per 24 hours, so you could go every single day and see a new movie for $10 a month. So basically like, going to the movies once pays for itself because most movies I know now to go see a movie is right around like $10 anyway, like eight to $10, maybe even more. You can go see 3D movies with this as well. So it's just a really great card all around. I think I'm gonna explain this a little bit more in a future video, which will probably be a part of my 10 days of Christmas because this might be a really awesome gift to give someone and I'd like to like sit down and explain a little more, but it is a really, really nice thing that I've really been enjoying with my boyfriend TJ. We like going to the movies and stuff like that. Like I'm a homebody. And I like to watch movies and TV and stuff like that, but if I'm going to go out, I'm always kind of like, yeah, let's go to dinner and a movie, and like that's kind of our date type of thing, so this has just been so, so nice. 
we don't really have to like worry about spending a lot of money it's kind of like even if we have nothing to do we're bored and we're broke like we can just go see a movie just whatever even if it's a movie we don't care about it's free so okay so the next two things are hair products but i really 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 love these so i do want to mention them this one is from igk and this is their cleansing walnut scalp scrub so that's exactly what it is. It's a scalp scrub. It's basically like um, like a deep cleanser. I use this like once a week and it really, really helps deep cleanse my hair. So what it is, I'll kind of show you guys like, that's what it looks like. It's, it, oh, I'm, I'm not flipping you off, but it is literally like a grainy scrub. It smells so good. It's got peppermint in it. So it smells like peppermint. Also really amazing for this time of year, but it's super refreshing on your scalp. I would highly recommend this to people who have finer hair because I have finer hair and it does tend to get really weighed down and especially if you use like styling products or dry shampoo once a week something like this would be amazing to have in your collection just to get all that nitty gritty away I know this also has apple cider vinegar in it which is also amazing at clearing any kind of impurities and stuff like that away so I haven't enjoyed this so much you can get this at Sephora I'm not sure how much it is but this is something I'm not really seeing at like drug stores and stuff like that I wish that they would implement it it is a scrub, but it does turn into a lather and it rinses clean. Like, it may seem kind of weird to have a scrub in your hair, but it does rinse away really, really clean. Like, like squeaky clean. You're going to want to use some type of heavy-duty conditioner after this because your hair will be really, really, like, squeaky and dry. Which, you know, is a good thing to get all that, like, grit out of your hair after a week. You don't want to leave, like, buildup and stuff in your hair. So I do think this is a really good investment. I know this is probably... A little bit more pricey since it is from Sephora but I think it's worth it especially like something like this is gonna last you a long time because I only use it like once a week you don't need to use it every day so this is just something I have really enjoyed and I would recommend to you guys if you can find even something similar I think it's nice to incorporate these type of things in your hair hair care routine okay so this next one is the banana hair mayo so this is basically like a conditioner for your hair it smells so good like I love the smell of bananas. This smells just like banana pudding. It even has like the consistency of banana pudding. I was a little bit scared to try this at first because I felt like it was going to have like a gross texture. But it has a really, really nice, smooth, creamy texture to it, which feels good on my hair. I put it like all over my hair. I put it like from roots to ends, mostly on my ends though. But it's something I feel comfortable even putting like a little bit on my roots because it's got this really like kind of slippery consistency. But it rinses and my hair feels so soft and smooth afterwards. And I love the scent. Like, I really want to buy, like, a banana scented candle, which I've never really seen one before. But I love the smell of this and the texture of this. I'm not sure exactly, like, where to get this from. This was sent to me in, like, a Korean beauty care, beauty skincare box. But I will link it down below wherever I find it. I'll search and find wherever you can get this from. I don't think it should be too expensive, but I really, really love this in my hair. This is all I've really been using in my hair is conditioner because, like... Once I tried it, I just loved it. I feel like it was good for everyday use. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a mask, but I use it every single day and I love it. It makes my hair super soft, not super weighed down, and the smell is to die for. Um, next thing I want to mention is this MAC little lip set right here, and I don't want to harp on too long about it because I'm pretty sure you can't really find this anymore. This was a part of their like snowball winter holiday collection. But here is what it looks like. So it's basically like a collection. Well, in this box is a beautiful box. TJ got this for me. It was $68, so it was pretty pricey. But you get all these little miniature MAC lipsticks in them. And a lot of them are colors that are like cult classics, which I'm a big MAC fan. There's just something classic about them, and I like collecting them. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to like practically use these, but I do have some of the colors that I've been curious about, such as like stone. I know there's stone in here, which I know I've been like really curious about. Yeah, stone is like the very last one at the end here. And I think it's really cute that they put all the different colors on the little bullets here. What's another one they have in here? They also have whirl, which is a cult classic, which is another one that I don't have. Velvet Teddy. So a lot of these colors are colors I don't have and I no are like cult classics from MAC like I said so I'm just glad to have them in my collection just in case like I'm gonna go back to them and like swatch them or just try them out on myself I don't think like they're colors that are necessarily like things I'm gonna wear every day like I said but it's just nice to have in my collection as like a MAC lipstick kind of collector this is something I really was excited to have and thought was special so I just thought I'd mention it to you guys 
I bet this video is so long right now. So thank you guys so much if you've made it this far into the video. If you have, let me know in the comments below because you guys are so awesome to me. Like, thank you so much. Thinking about like being at 5k subscribers and like all the hard work and everything that's went into it, it's just reminded me of the people who've kind of like really stood by me and stuff like that and people who I know watch me and pretty much like watch any of my videos. I really appreciate it you guys like it means the world to me so thank you. I'm almost done. I think I'm going to leave it off with these last two products right here. So this one right here, this is just a little sample. This is the Lancome Absolute Precious Oil. I got this like in an Ulta like variety bag and I just now recently tried it and it's so good. Now I'm 27 so I'm starting to get more conscious of like my skincare, especially using anti-aging stuff at night. I'm kind of new to like oils and stuff like that but this has kind of made me really interested in wanting to invest in like a good night oil which this is how I use it. I use it at night. It comes with a little dropper even like the little sample size and you don't need much like it's a super watery consistency so it spreads out really really nicely on your skin which is what I love. A lot of oils are just so thick and heavy. This is not like that. So I'm just glad that I got a chance to try it. I know I've seen it in magazines a lot. This is like one of their cult like classic type of like products right here I'm pretty sure. So I'm just happy that I got a chance to try it and I do really actually enjoy it and hope it does some good for my skin because you know I'm worried about those wrinkles at this point because there's really no turning back the, the clock now. So it's products like these that I'm happy to find and have in my collection. And then the last product I want to mention is also kind of a skincare type thing. This is just like, it's it's from Skin Benefit, I'm pretty sure. No, it's from CosRx, which is the brand. But basically it's just like pimple patches. You can get these in a lot of different brands. But I've really appreciated this. I think it's nice like when you have a blemish to have something like this, like little patches to put on your blemish because it just feels a little bit more proactive. Like you're, you're, you're proactively trying to take care of the situation. You're doing something about it instead of just letting it sit there and like fester on your skin. It's just kind of a relief to have something like this. I use these overnight, which I'm pretty sure that's what they suggest you do. You just put it clean, like put it on your clean area, leave it on overnight on the surface of your pimple and it will reduce it. It will like suck out all the gross stuff, which when you peel it off, it does have like a white, like white stuff. It's supposed to be like the, the crap it's pulling out of your skin, which may or may not be true, but it's just, it's like a relief, you know, it's you being proactive about your skincare. So I really have enjoyed these. I've used a lot of them. If you can kind of tell, I don't think you can really see that well, but anytime I have like a little breakout somewhere, I will put one of these patches on it, leave it on overnight and peel off the grossness in the morning. And it just makes me feel better about it. Oh, oh my god I feel like that was such a long video. I actually had like more stuff I wanted to like say and talk about like I've been in like a 70s music funk here lately like there's been so much 70s music I've loved listening to here lately. I even made like a whole playlist on Spotify. I'm a huge Spotify fan like if I didn't have Spotify I don't know what what I would do. Maybe I'll go through like a couple of the songs with you guys now that I'm here and I'm talking about it. Okay so I have Blondie on here. I have Tom Petty. I'm like obsessed with this song. Tom Petty was like big with my mom and stuff and it's really sad because now I'm like starting to get into it. I was into it when I was like a kid because it was like what I was used to listening to but like now I'm in this like 70s phase and now I'm really sad that he died. It's just like weird you know it makes me feel old even though it's like my mom's era but I've really enjoyed this song by him. Um, Journey, Ario Speedwagon. Okay, yeah, so there's some of the 70s music I've been listening to, and like Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks and all that stuff. Also, another music CD that I'm addicted to, which helps calm me down and stuff, like along with that study music I was telling you guys about, I've been obsessed with A Charlie Brown Christmas by Vince Giraldi or Giraldi. I know that's so random, but it's like the best jazz album ever. I feel like such an old person. Like, I swear I should have a granny jar in my living room. And every time I do something that's like grandma, I should add money to it because it happens a lot. Like right now, I'm such a grandma, but I love this album. Like, this is one of my all-time favorite albums of all time. It's just so pretty to me and like relaxing. 
If this isn't Christmas, I don't I don't know what is. But yeah, I will list all this crap down below in case you guys are interested. I doubt you are, but I, I love this album. I love listening to music. Like, music is what helps calm me down. Like, TV and stuff, my mind kind of wanders when I'm watching TV. Like, it's hard for me to kind of focus. But listening to music, like, is just, is it for me. So that's why I wanted to let you guys know. But if you're one of those people, which that's kind of another video I wanted to make. I'm getting so off topic and this video is about to be a million years long. But you guys might be bored like on your Christmas break and stuff too. So anyways, but, like I wanted to make a video about kind of like my anxiety and my anxiety story and history. Because I've had so many issues with anxiety, especially my senior year of college. Like I've had anxiety so, so bad. Like <laughs> it's like something like panic attacks and stuff like that are things that I thought that I was over. But I feel like you're never really over them. Like, if you're a person who has panic attacks, like, they will come up just, like, all throughout your life. Like, there's no really getting rid of them. You just kind of better know how to deal with them and deal with, like, kind of the, the physical effects of them. So that was a video I've, like, been interested in kind of, like, making. So if you guys are interested in that, you can let me know in the comments below. But um, I think I'm going to make it because it's something I want to talk about and I think it's helpful, like, the mental illness epidemic like especially in our country I think it's so important to speak about it and shed light on it so that's something I'm definitely interested in making a video about here soon but I'm gonna stop being annoying and talking to your guys' ear off I just feel like I haven't like sat down and filmed a video in so long so I'm just like excited to talk to you and everything like that but I will be making videos every single day so you'll have that to look forward to again if you're bored like me during this Christmas break you have nothing <laughs> Don't know how much of that was caught because my video stopped recording, but if you're bored on Christmas break, I'm gonna put out some videos that a lot of people are putting out, like videos every single day, so hopefully you won't be too bored. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope there's nothing else I'm missing out on saying, but yeah, if you made it to the end, be sure and let me know down in the comments because you guys are so awesome. Like, this is the reason I do this stuff. There's very few of you, but I really, really, really appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. So yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you for the next 10 days. I hope you have an amazing holiday season, whether or not you celebrate the holidays. I just hope you have a great December. How about we'll just say that? Have a great December and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.